see the uh, option to change camera angles because uh, not everybody's going to play it in VR, let's face it. Yeah, it would be nice to have an option for the different camera angles. Where is this asshole? Out of the picture. A stack of chairs and other furniture. That doesn't seem to be anything useful. What do we have here? Take the black statue. Why not? Pretty sure this thing is the missing piece about it, but let's take a look at it. A stone statue with a single eerie looking wing on its back. Yeah, there's definitely a missing piece to it. Gotta be. Various materials are stuck on the floor. Ooh, another shotgun. Beautiful. Let's give it to him. I know it's a shame to leave two shells behind, but this is about a shotgun, what can I say? Why the hell is Rebecca still carrying this shit? That's All right, okay, here we go, that's how it's done. Take the gas tank. Sure, why not? So that, I believe, is to fill out the bottles. So we're going to leave that behind just to mark our progress on the map. So we now know where the shit is. How much empty space do we have left? Pretty much loads. Let's leave that behind as well so we know where it is. Grab it later when we need to. I don't know yet where that goes. Pretty sure it goes somewhere in the main room, though. Climb up the ladder. Sure, why not? Uh, but just before we do that, let's see if we missed anything on the map. Right. Okay. Apparently not. But wait. Oh yeah, we have. All right, let's explore all of downstairs first, so we have as much of a complete map as possible. Not what I wanted you to do. Okay, there we go. Okay, everybody reloads. Let's go downstairs to the basement. So we have a bit of a boiler going on over here. Whoa. Ah. Alright, so there must be a way of turning this off somehow, but I have a feeling it's on the other side. So, well, that was a wonderful waste of time. And let's go upstairs. Well, at least now we know where, what's down there. And that's the main thing, exploring the mansion. Alright, so that guy's gonna wake up at some point soon. Oh, shit. Whoa! That was close. So this thing got smashed up somehow. The handrail is collapsed. From the looks of it, it didn't just rot away. So, there was some fight going on over here with the look of things. Right then, let's make Rebecca Bex. Mix the herbs.
And let's leave this one just behind like so. Again, the reason why I'm doing this is just so we can mark on a map where on earth all the shit is. Uh, that way if I'm ever in trouble with health or ammo, I can just find it on a map instead of just thinking, hmm, where could I find all this cool shit? I know it's a bit of a grind, but uh, that's how this game was designed, I'm afraid. The door is now unlocked. Let's go take a look see what's on the other side. Okay. So that's locked with some statues. Back to scaffolding. Perhaps someone was restoring the painting. Would be nice to, to actually have a look at the painting. See, this is the bit where a first person VR view would be pretty awesome. But uh, it can't work in this game anyway because, well, it's uh, pre rendered everything. So, the painting depicts a band of revolutionaries. Awesome. Got a document here. Let's check it out. So, regulations for trainees. Uh, training facility mission. The training facility will raise a new generation of model employees to serve the future of Umbrella Corporation. Applying the strictest and most rigorous training standards, this facility will, without regard for gender, race, or creed, produce only the best candidates to be the future global leaders of Umbrella Com Corporation. We look forward to the development of your leadership qualities. Training facility guidelines. Discipline, obedience, unity. It's highlighted in green, so it's going to be used for a puzzle. Got to keep an eye on that and remember this moto, or whatever you call that. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so these three words are the basic principles which governed Umbrella Corporation employees and are to be considered the law of the facility. Uh, keep these words in mind at all times. Devote yourself to your training and bring honor to yourselves and the corporation. James Marcus, Director, Umbrella Corporation, Management Training Facility. Hmm. So, that's a good clue paper. What are these then? Some kind of monitors. This looks like a lecture theater of some kind. Nice speakers. Kind of tunes. <laughs> Look at that. Now this place definitely needs a DJ deck. <laughs> With speakers like that for sure. So what do we have here? Security system is locked. Please insert system disk, which we clearly don't have. So to hell with that for now, we'll, we will return when we have some more shit to put in there. Right then, what do we have here? The painting depicts a large mob of people brandishing weapons under a blue cloudless sky. Ooh, ammo. Alright, who needs more ammo? Him or her? So she's got 29 bullets, she's got... Oh, so she's got the most ammo. Alright, so let's give all the good shit to him. Come on, Billy, stop being a dumbass, grab that ammo. There we are. Good shit. Alright, we're not gonna save yet. At some point later, though. I'm probably gonna stick to saving in the main hall. Alright, so as far as I know, there's no other doors here other than... hang on. We did not check that door yet. Alright, let's get the muscle to go first.
Okay, so that sounds like a zombie. Right, so what do we have here in this hall? So the far door, by the look of things, is locked up. Let's go for this one. Okay, nice and quiet. Ooh, look at that, a map. Alright, so that's our surroundings. So the far door is locked. The only thing we got left to do here is check out that what looks like an elevator to me. Hmm, that's strange. I failed to have a look at that door upstairs. Oh yes, that's right. <laughs> the plan was check out downstairs first. Okay, that's making perfect sense now. Now, what do we have here? Some kind of a photo. You cannot carry the Satan. But too damn bad, Rebecca can. Microfilm A. I think that's uh, used by a projector, but uh, I think we can only find one in the facility downstairs. So, the candle is burnt out. One of us is going to have a lighter, I think. Let's check out who it is. Ooh, here we go. Seriously? Fair enough. The Zippo cannot light the candle. What a pity. I guess it might be... There might be a missing piece to the puzzle. Someone has evidently used this computer recently. It doesn't seem to be working anymore though. I think this is where Wesker and uh, Mr. Birkin I've been kicking around with our security cameras, I think. Stick the ribbon, why not? Might as well combine them all. So the far door is locked because of that candle puzzle. Okay, there's got to be a way to light that candle. Unless it's like completely burnt out and we need another candle. Come on, Billy, light it up. Thing empty or something. Lighter appears to be out of fuel. Oh. Should have checked this thing out first. That's why it's not working. Okay, that's making perfect sense now. Right. Uh, this shit we can leave behind because it's of no use. The ribbons I'll take back to the main hall and save there. I have a feeling that the uh, winged statue thing uh, belongs on the pedestal in the main hall, so let's check that out, shall we? So that's that way and that way and that way. Okay. Um, actually. I'll go. Okay. Let's leave him behind. Oh no. Swap them around. Let's have the muscle check out that elevator. I think I missed something in that room. That's why I'm going back. And that is on this side, I believe. Bookshelf contains a rest selection of books. There doesn't seem to be anything of interest. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, we'll come back here later. First things first. Let's see if that statue belongs in the front hall. Let's regroup. Roger. 
Because if it does, that'll be one puzzle solved for the day. And then after that, we'll take the elevator around and check out what's up there. Then so. First door on the right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that there's some kind of a scale set over here somewhere. Oh. True that. There's something when it's on base. When good and evil are brought into balance, a new path will be opened. Okay, well, I take it this takes two things rather than one, so fuck it for now. So, first things first, let's grab that lighter fuel. I'm pretty sure it's down here. serves this as a toilet. Or a way to the toilet. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? I was right. So this door is locked. Doesn't seem to be a keyhole anywhere. Top part is engraved with an image of a clock. Mm -hmm. Gotta admit. Uh, whoa, shit. Well, looks like Billy's gonna have to come out there and kick his ass. Does Billy still have his fire? Shit, fuck, he doesn't. Well, that sucks. Anyway, let's give that to Rebecca. So we have a bit of room. Why do I have a feeling there's something in there? Or someone? <laughs> Um, take the red herb, I'll give it to Rebecca in a moment. Shit, why didn't I bring those bloody explosives? I am an asshole. Take the green herb. Alright, let's... Do a little bit of item management here. Take this. Could have sworn I've seen some lighter fuel in here. Whoa! Shit. Ah. Ah. Right, that's it. Time to bring out the big guns. That was not expected at all. <laughs> um. All right, let's see. Damage report. Well, it's a bit of a waste to use that at the moment. Okay. All right. Let's split up. Roger. Let's take these guys through one at a time. Oof. Oof. Right. I'm gonna put some fire up his ass in a moment. 
Ah, shit, the fire's downstairs, isn't it? Right. We have got to get rid of him. Right, let's see what we can leave behind. So, let's do this shit. Seven shells will do for now. But yeah, there's a lot of item management in this game. A lot of backtracking and back and forth. Kind of wish they would let you skip the loading screens. That would be very handy indeed. Believe it or not, in the PC versions of the old games you could. Up until Resident Evil 3, I believe. Because after that one, they pretty much forgot all about PC gaming in general. Alright then, where the fuck are my bottles? Okay, this shit ain't making any sense. I knew I found some bottles on a train. There is absolutely no freaking way I did not check out those bottles on the train. Oh boy, am I an asshole. Oh joy. I must have fucked up big time. Well, I'll survive without them. Bit of a waste of shotgun shells, but fair enough. I'll find some more later on, I'm sure. 